Uh, well, I'm surprised, Amber, that you've said it. he's made great progress because <laughs> I think we can all agree uh, that what he's come back with amounts to nothing. I mean, he asked for nothing, he's going to get nothing. A year ago, he was talking about treaty change. There'll be no treaty change. Uh, there's no powers coming back from Brussels uh, to this country. Uh, there's no return of our fisheries. There's no reduction in our membership uh, fee. Uh, and what he will try to do is he will try to sell this as a great, a great victory. It's not. It's a great failure. So you I must mean, be hugely what? relieved then. Well, because well, everybody will vote out. I, I wouldn't say I'm relieved. I'm just not impressed. I mean, what, what, what are we talking about here? You know, a few glib lines about competitiveness, uh, uh, opposing ever greater union, uh, a protection for non. Eurozone countries. I'm not being funny. I sit in the European Parliament. You know, there's ever closer union on every single report we vote on almost every week. And this idea of um, capping in work benefits for migrants just doesn't add up to a row of beans. I mean, The Guardian today has said it will affect very few people indeed, around 28,000. And once we have a living wage, the pull factor will be even greater than it was before. But beyond that, to ensure that this gets through, he needs a majority of other member states to sign up to it, and it isn't going to happen. Okay. And then, hold on, one last thing. Oh, no. We find out now that the European Parliament will be able to veto it, and I'm telling you, the European Parliament yeah. is no friend so, of I, Britain. So, so it will back. not happen. It's not Paul, good enough, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. I go back to it's the... not good enough. I, I, go, I go back to the point that you must be mightily relieved because you've always wanted to leave Europe anyway. Uh, well, I, I think it gives yeah. us a better opportunity of leaving because okay. I think the British people are clever enough to see through this charade. The woman there on the left.